Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Donna North High School. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, 2017, and I'm excited to be here with all of you enjoying our time together as a Donna North High School family as we prepare for a very busy day here on our campus. And so I, I want to start off the morning with our attendance. And our attendance for yesterday, Valentine's Day, was 91.31 and it was the lowest in the district and so I'm always sad when I have to report that because I know that all of us are born with that you know with that um, desire to always be the best and so it's unacceptable to me that we would be the lowest in our entire district and so we we need to work together as a family like we do with every you know every situation that we celebrate and then of course every problem that we have to solve together and so this happens to be one of those areas that we need to continue to work as a family to improve on so uh, yesterday, the grade level that had the best attendance were our sophomores, and they were at 93.84, and so that's a great thing uh, that we did have at least one that was awfully close to their goal. As far as the second uh, place, we had our juniors at 93.34, very closely behind our sophomores, followed by our seniors. And I am crushed to tell you that our senior rate was at 89.86 dicaronis. That is ridiculous. And so um, please, seniors, as I've always said, you are the ones that are the role models for all our upper, you know, all our lower classmen, excuse me. And it's really important that you you take that responsibility of being those role models and demonstrating with your actions that you should always be the ones to set that example for your uh, for your peers and so that attendance rate is unacceptable then our freshmen our freshmen were at 88.97 and so freshmen I do challenge you to do it better every day and as I say you know, making good choices is part of uh, what our goals should ultimately be. Yes, uh, tomorrow, excuse me, I want to remind our staff and those parents that are involved in our CL pack, we do have a meeting tomorrow in room D117 at 4 o'clock, and that's Miss Alegria's room. So we look forward to seeing everyone there participating. Um, I did want to remind our, our students, you need to take advantage of our Ask a Counselor table that we have available every single day during both lunch hours. And it's important that you approach our counselors with any questions you may have regarding your grades, attendance, seniors. Those scholarship opportunities are out there and you need to take advantage. Make sure that you visit our counselors often to find out what's available, what is the deadline, and that you do your due diligence to make sure that you do apply for those scholarships well ahead of that deadline. Take advantage because even if there's um, you know a scholarship of two hundred fifty dollars available, up to you know uh, our gates that is um, priceless and that. You know, it, it is one of those open-ended open, um, type of awards. 
you need to capitalize on all of them because they start to add up, you know, $2,000 here, $250 here, and they are all going to be to your ultimate benefit where you will be able to utilize that money to help you with your post-secondary um, studies. And so whether it's a one-year, two-year, four-year uh, post-secondary, Students, please help yourselves and accumulate all that money that's out there just for you. So it's important that you do work with your counselors, and I don't mean just Ms. Sosa. Ms. Sosa is a plus, but you also have your academic counselors, your migrant counselor, your CTE counselor that are all there available to help you. So please take advantage of that and stay abreast of all that information. Make sure you are testing with your ACT, SAT, uh, TSI. Those, you need to simultaneously be tackling those. Juniors, you should already be testing. You should be uh, taking uh, that extra time that you have to challenge yourself to go for the higher marks on those. So plan that out, do it well, make good choices, and make it happen. And we're here to help you. Uh, next Thursday, students, I want to uh, tell you that we are going to be passing out your report cards with your parents. We're going to have a report card pickup night for our parents and our students. You're not going to get your report cards with your CB teacher on Wednesday. In fact, we are going to extend an invitation to all our parents and guardians out there to come onto our campus to come speak to our, uh, our staff and our, um, our administration, our counselors. So make it out next Thursday, 23rd, from 4 to 5.30. Students, for you, you're going to have extra incentives because all of your teachers, if you uh, come show up with your parent or guardian on that day, you're going to be given a ticket. With that ticket, you're going to be able to show all of your teachers that you attended along with your with your um parent or guardian and you will be given extra incentives like a free hundred, a free homework pass, replacing your lowest grade with you know a, a higher grade. So it's going to be your bent to your benefit that you do bring out your parent or guardian with you on Thursday 4 to 5 30. You're going to see flyers going out, you're going to see flyers being displayed to remind you of that event. And so for now Donna North High School, I remind you to be humble, work hard, be kind. See you tomorrow, Donna North High School. Good morning, Good morning Donna, Donna North. North. I'm John DeShersha. And I'm Jacqueline Garcia. And these are morning announcements. A big congrats to the Varsity Chiefs and Lady Chiefs in their victory over Mercedes. Way to go, Chiefs. NHS News. NHS will be hosting a shoe drive from the 13th to the 24th. If you have genuine use shoes, whether men, women, or kids, Please bring them to A220 or D118 with Ms. Garza Smith and Mrs. Travis. And if anyone is interested in joining NHS, please go by room D118 before school, during season B's, after school to pick up an application. It will be due on the 28th. There will be a fellowship of Christian athletes meeting tomorrow at the library in the computer lab at 8 a.m. And there's actually a student council meeting going on right now in the library. And there will be a common club meeting on Friday in the portables. To all seniors, will you be attending STC or TSTC this fall? Apply for the Big Valley RV Scholarship for a chance to receive $500. Applications are available in the GO Center. Pick one up today. TSI information tutorials are now only required for students that need to retest. First-time testers can now sign up for the February 18th exam. Seeds are limited and only three testing dates remain. Come by the GO Center for more information. Thank you, Chief. That's all for the morning announcements. Remember, GO, go Chiefs!